Remember this? This anime pretty much One Punch Man goes to Hogwarts. Mash. Magic and Muscle Season 2 trailers that I'm a little late, but we'll still check it out. I forgot. <laughs> this fire guy got so fucked up. He just wrapped up in pants in the trailer. Okay. So, what's the new arc? Ooh. Say what you will about the anime. The soundtrack is so fucking good. Let's replay that. Magic Realm. They control it. Student Council? Because we have we met the Student Council yet? I don't really think so. No. I think these are the current or div the, what's called it? The div div divine Visionary or something? I forget the exact title, but this is pretty much like the most elite of the elite candidates. What are they? Yeah, the divine- Close! Divine Visionaries, yeah. Okay, okay, wait, new- Okay, okay! We got Mr. Light Kane Junitsu Suwabe- That's actually voice actor, but okay, he's- He's, he's got cards? Okay, we, we got Mr. Glasses the Desert King. I love how everybody has their own unique title or nickname too. So they're all, it's like Elemental and then Kane, right? Because we had Desert Kane. Well, we had like not, Light, right? Desert, Flame, I don't know what Kane means, but new characters, okay. Immortal? Immortal? And so far, hold up. And remember, the lines on their faces determine their potential, innate potential for using magic. Every, so far, every one of them has been double liners. Has there been... I don't know. Sometimes these characters, I swear to God, their hair designs are intentionally hiding a part of their face to hide a third line. But so far, everybody has been single line so far. Okay, okay. Dragon Kane? Wait, ah! Okay, she's so just having an eye patch here. Okay, the ice cane, okay. <laughs> Smart girl. <laughs> this guy is the person that we met at the end of season one. This guy was super hype, and he's the older brother of her coward best friend at the dorms, right? <laughs> Which is pretty much just this is like, um, what's his name? This is Aaron Yeager's voice actor, right? <laughs> Divine visionary candidate exam. Holy shit. We're about to get another type of like a... It's not an entrance exam. But you know these exams where it's pretty much like a tournament arc or some kind of battle royale style. Bro, we're going into the fucking divine visionary candidate exam. This is getting super hype. Oh shit. Oh shit. I guess this is the opening, right? Yeah? Okay. The opening theme is called Bling Bang Bang Born by Creepy Nuts. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this opening is going so hard. <laughs> So based on the person talking here, it does look like the Light Kane is like the one most in charge, or it looks like he's the most, like the main leader of this Divine Visionary Candidate Exam, I don't know, panel or person, right? Based. Ooh. Again, this is gonna be ridiculous hype. Like this anime was already hype in season one. I really enjoyed it, right? The, the, it kind of got a little bit stale with the reoccurring theme of ha ha ha, MASH just solves everything, which is brute force. But like the feats involved are so ridiculous and there's a lot of comedy involved. So like, it's not, the show doesn't take itself seriously. So I don't feel like it's, it's these are like overused or a little bit boring tropes, but still. We got the Divine Visionary Candidate exam arc. And again, any type of arcs like this, you're sure to get some kind of crazy tournament arc style, battle royale. It's going to be hype, and we'll definitely check it out.